there are a number of different methods to remove Valorant, just as there are for any other Windows software. It is expected that removing Valorant from a system via any of these techniques would provide the same results. It will only take you one minute to fully remove everything, so it won't matter which way you use since the operation will go off without a hitch in any case. Utilizing the control panel has been, and continues to be, the most widely used approach of removing software, dating all the way back to earlier versions of Windows. The following is what you are need to do. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and type control panel in the search box. Open the control panel app. In the upper right, change the view by the small icons. Find and click Programs and Features. Look for Valorant in the list and click it. Then, click Uninstall on top. Alternatively, you can right-click on Valorant and select Uninstall. Using the Apps and Features menu is yet another simple method that may be used to remove Valorant. To do this, follow these steps. Right-click the Start button and select Apps and Features. Once the Apps and Features window is open, find Valorant and click on the three dots on the right. Select Uninstall to uninstall the game. Using your computer's start menu to remove Valorant entirely from your system is the last and most comprehensive technique. Press the Windows key on your keyboard or click on the Start button in the taskbar. Find the Valorant icon in the Start menu. If you can't find the Valorant icon, you can search for it by typing Valorant in the search box. Right click on the Valorant icon, go over the options and click Uninstall. The uninstallation of Valorant is just half of the effort at hand for you in this situation. You also need to locate Riot Vanguard and remote it in order to remove the Valorant software package in its entirety. It is possible that restarting your computer in safe mode and deleting the bgk.sys file from the Valorant installation folder would solve the problem. The following actions need to be taken in order to boot into safe mode. Press Windows icon plus I on the keyboard to open settings. Select Update and Security. Go to Recovery. Select the Restart Now button in Advanced Startup. Once your computer has restarted to the Choose an Option screen, you can go Troubleshoot. Advanced Options. Startup Settings. Restart. Wait for the second time after your PC has restarted and select the option to start your PC to safe mode. Then, uninstall Riot Vanguard. You may also play a trick on the system so that it ignores the Riot Vanguard process while it is booting up. This is another option. You are able to do this by changing the file bgk.sys to an alternative name, such as bgk.txt. To do this, just go to the folder in which Riot Vanguard was installed. Locate the bgk.sys file there. Right click on it and rename it. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.